All right, hello everyone. My Minecraft window didn't show up. Despite my best efforts, I uh, I see where I went wrong. And uh, here we go. There we go. All right, hello everybody. My name is ASDF, and welcome back to another stream. We're gonna be doing, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna be doing one block sky block uh, Minecraft by IJA Minecraft. And uh, if you want a link to it, I put the, the map maker and a link to the map in all the descriptions over on YouTube. If you're from YouTube, hello. If you're from Twitch, hello. What's up, Leviathan, Warlord, Okami, and Yoshi? Uh, so I did a little bit of changes before we really dive into kind of like the main thing we're going to be doing tonight, which is auto farms. Let me show you what I changed. First of all, I expanded these fences by one diagonally because I was farming up a whole bunch of stuff. Also, I added another row of beds and I've been trading with the farmer and I, I did some cycling on these guys. So I, I locked in <clears throat> a fortune three book and a mending book trade. The trouble is, the, the trouble is they're really expensive because I don't really have a lot of emerald income. I just have this one farmer. Uh, so I did a little bit of expansion for the villagers, but not a ton. I killed a few iron golems because they would spawn two of them somehow. Um, also, yes, yeah, so we ordered Domino's pizza. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a shameless advert for Domino's because we love it. They make good pizza. They've been having a deal where, it, like, randomly when you order, sometimes they'll send you extra pizza. And so we got an extra pizza. Sometimes they send you lava cakes, sometimes they send you pizza. So we got this, like, deep pan pizza. So we ended up getting three pizzas and bread bites because there was a deal for two medium pizzas and bread bites, and they added an extra medium pizza on there for free. Um, I changed, so more of the changes, I planted three pumpkins uh, and I put some barrels around where there's stuff. So this is like the farming barrel just to make it easily accessible. I have a barrel over in here because um, I've been shearing a lot of sheep just when it's available. And uh, I throw the eggs in there too because I have, I have two chickens now. I haven't touched the center block much. I might have done one on accident. Haven't touched this end portal, although what I'm going to do... I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna lock out the bottom of this thing. And, uh, yeah, I still, I put a minecart in here and a chest, or a barrel here. Um, because then I would have no loss. Essentially, if it were to fall directly down there, um, on this dirt block right here, then it would be a problem because it would just expire. Uh, so, <clears throat> I put that hopper minecart, which, if you look at the edges of it, let me see real quick. The edges of it is still over the hopper right there you can see so it will actually fall into this hopper if it goes into this hopper minecart so oh you also had pizza for dinner awesome yeah this end portal is kind of a bummer we can actually cover the top because we can jump into it from the bottom so i'll go ahead and i'll leave those out uh i guess we can put this stone slab in building materials the other thing I did is I was messing around with some redstone for for making this cobblestone generator better but eh Ooh, pizza for dinner two days ago. Um, I want to fence in this bee area. So that my, my bee can't escape. And, uh, yeah. I, I would hate for our single bee to escape. So I wanted to fence this in. I fenced it in and then I was like, uh, I'll do that on camera. So then I, I took the fence down. And now I'm doing it on camera for you guys. So... That's the end of my short story. Ooh, barbecue pizza sounds good. Yeah, we got we got a couple of, like thin crust pizzas from Domino's, and we got uh, like that deep pan pizza. I, I think it's a deep dish pizza, but it was called like a pan pizza or something. I don't know what the difference is. I feel like the deep dish they make it in is just a pan. So, yeah. oh man. All right, let's see if we can reclaim that. Um, I think that's all I did. I think that's all I did. So, yeah, you guys are all caught up now. What is everyone's favorite pizza? Forget about the question of the day. Which I thought was actually a good question of the day. What was it? Oh, yeah. Favorite accessory or clothing item. Which, I love hoodies. I love me a hoodie. So we need to start a hoodie gang. That would be great. On the website you use to order pizza, you can name your pizza. Oh, really? That's cool. If you do a good enough job, do they, like, name the pizza after you? Because that'd be really cool. Your favorite is Loser Idiot Pizza. <laughs> Here's your Loser Idiot Pizza. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Okay, so the idea tonight, <clears throat> we're gonna expand a little bit. We're gonna expand a lot. So what I wanna do, first things first, is I wanna expand this circle quite a bit on the bottom layer um, and make it spawn proof so that we can expand this top layer a little bit too. Um, so, so that it just looks a little better, you know? It, it'll just it'll just look a little better. I want to expand so we have a little more space. I want to uh, keep trading with these villagers. The music's a little loud. It's causing me to yell, and my throat's already a bit scratchy. Oh, how was your guys' weekend, by the way? Totally forgot to ask. Um, ours was interesting, because we went away to the mountains, but it was so smoky, because there's a lot of fires in Southern California. Which, again, I mean, there's always fires in Southern California, but... Bacon, pepperoni, and olives. That's good. Philly cheesesteak pizza from Domino's. I forgot to order it. You mentioned it before, and I totally forgot to order it, even though I was going to. So next time, we got to order that Philly cheesesteak pizza. So I want to do an auto pumpkin farm. So let's go ahead and expand the bottom first. What do we want to use to expand the bottom? Let's see what let's see what block pallets we have. We have stone. It might look good if we do stone or um, bricks. Let's do stone bricks. So let me just cook up a bunch of stone, and then we, we could do uh, stone bricks. We might have some already actually from the Baron. Oh, we totally have some already. Okay, we'll turn these into slabs so that we don't have to worry about making them spawn proof. And for now, let's see how far away this is from the center. So. We would go one, three, five, seven, nine, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-nine, thirty-one. What's down there? It's a bee. He's chilling. Can we rescue him? He's floating above the void, that's interesting, but he doesn't know where his hive is. Um, I And I love Philly cheesesteaks, that was 31, right? 31. Let's go a few more out. 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45. That's looking real good, okay. So I need to make a circle. So if you guys haven't used this tool before, there's plots, P-L-O-T-Z dot C-O dot U-K. They have this sphere generator. They have a bunch of different ones. Uh, what's in the middle of 45, 23? Um, they have a sphere generator and I'll, I'll put it here in the screen. <laughs> There's a bee? <laughs> I'll put it here so you guys know what I'm referencing. Uh, that, that didn't work. Um, Plots.co.uk, and then they got a whole bunch of models. And I'm doing a sphere in 2D, and I selected the middle layer. Um, I use this all the time for Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as a reference. So it looks like we need to go for a 45 across circle. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the next one is four. One, two, three, four. The next one's two. One, two. And then one, two. And then we have, oh, that's a lot of ones. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six ones. And then one, two. And then one, two. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five. And now we should be. We should be lined up with the middle. <laughs> all right. Let me recount before I before I uh, mess with all this stuff. Let me recount. Because it might not be a forty-five diameter. So we start in the middle. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I had to go one more out. So that's fine, we can do that. That's five. Maybe we can reclaim all our stuff too. That's four. We don't really need to, because we, we can make a stone generator. Okay, let's see. What's up, Helmet? Welcome. Thank you for the lurk, by the way. That's two. Uh, that's two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then one, two, three, four, five. Let's see if it works this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Right in the middle. That's a beautiful thing. And we don't have to light them up because they're bottom slabs. I did that on purpose. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we don't have enough to keep going, so we'll come back this way. I was like, that looks so off. Why does that look so off? It's because we uh, still have extra ones on that side. But we're going to fill it in, so it's okay to have a little bit of extra ones. Okay, cool. So we need another... Probably if we use another stack of these, then we'll be perfect. Oh, not the mossy ones. Mossy would be cool. We'll probably throw some mossy ones in there. But I don't know what kind of texturing we want to do yet, so maybe we'll leave it out for now. That's all sealed in. Why don't we just go from this side again, shall we? If phantoms attack me out there, it's over. So maybe, I don't know when the last time I slept was and we've kind of had a roof over our head. Phantoms hadn't attacked us yet. So I think we would have been okay, but still. Thanks for the lurk, Leviathan. Definitely appreciate it. Hey, how's that tourney going? One, two, three, four, five. There's two bees down there. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Isn't this entertaining? Six. Was that six or seven? I don't even know. That's fine. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Is this dead center? It looks dead center to me. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Pink Ninja's yawning. That's so rude. Oh, lost in the second round. All right, I'm gonna need my brain cell back, by the way. I can count to five, but I'm gonna need that brain cell back. I share that with a bunch of people, by the way. Uh, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Is it gonna line up? One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, lined up better than expected. How many of you thought that would work out? <clears throat> it was soothing you to sleep. Oh my goodness. All right, we're running. We're running. Warlord coming in hot with the sound. There's three, are there three bees down there now? How do bees keep respawning down there? For one, how do we get them back up? Oh, I know how to get them back up. Oh, watch this. <laughs> watch this though. Okay, let me put this back. In fact, let me, uh, it's fine, it's fine. I need to grab a flower, which is in plants. And then I need to just um, go down to their level. It's your- no, Warlord, I need my brain cell back. Come here, bees. You know, why are there so many bees down here? How did they escape notice before? I need that brain cell, man. 
Oh, they're like below the void though. I don't know if they'll I don't know if they can come back up here. Yeah, they're below they're below the void because this cuts off. Like look at our F3. I don't think there's any hope for those bees. That's so sad. Back to zero brain cells. Oh dear. Okay, this when we fill all this in, we're gonna need a lot more stone. So let me keep cooking up stone. Perfect. Oh, I got experience for that too. Okay, let's get this out of here. Let's get let's get the hitboxes off because that doesn't make for an enjoyable uh, Minecraft viewing experience, right? How do we turn hitboxes off? Turn them off. Turn turn them off. My hotkey's not working. That's not good. I guess they're just gonna be on forever. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing the thing. Okay, hang on. I can close the app, I can restart the app. The trouble, uh, could not connect to the desktop. What's happening with my touch portal integration? It's broke. It's broke. Device not connected, reconnect over USB. It's not even close. All right, maybe if I close it and reopen it. Is it gonna do the thing? Is it gonna do the thing? Oh, you often play with them on? Makes sense. You guys ready for some ASMR? Hmm. Drink of the evening, by the way is uh, black tea, sparkling black tea with peach. I know it's backwards, but that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah, I don't know why my USB is not is not connecting properly. So, and that's probably why the AW didn't work either. Yeah, it's not gonna work because it's not connected. That's the, that's the, that's the portal. What about Ethernet 3? Maybe, I mean, I could restart this. Th Maybe I'll unplug it and replug it in. And then I'll, I'll turn it to USB. And then I'll open the app. Could not connect. Oh, wait. Ah, connected. Okay, cool. So here's your ah. There you go. There's your ah. <clears throat> and uh, now I can turn hitboxes off. Hitbox is hidden. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so the trouble with the hitbox is, um, I have a 60% keyboard. I'll show you. It doesn't have the function keys. Uh, it has a function button, and then you type the number pad, or the number keys, and then that's how you do the function keys. Hitboxes, in Minecraft, is like F3 plus... B? F3 plus H? F3 plus something, but that one specifically, F3 plus B, is one where you can't send a function key from a 60% keyboard and B at the same time. All the other ones work, F3G, F3C, F3H, like all those ones work fine on this keyboard. Specifically the hitboxes don't work, so I have to use a, a macro just for hitboxes. So I have a special button for it on my thing. Okay, so we're doing more um, stone brick work, which we can craft this way. And we can get some slabs going. I can put my tulip away. And my pumpkins. And then I guess we can just fill in level two, right? Something like that? I don't know. Oh no, I messed up. I always mess those up. I always mess them up. If you fall, is it GG? Uh, no, it's not a hardcore world. Um, but it is a bummer because I lose all the materials and the way Skyblock is set up is they're very limited. So I would be bummed if I fell off, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. 
So hopefully that answers your question. Yeah. I, it's really fun though. I mean, I've I've been having a good time playing Skyblock. You can make a multiplayer one block Skyblock too. Uh, so I thought about maybe doing that, but there hasn't been a lot of uh, Minecraft activity in our private circle. So, and I don't know how comfortable I feel about opening a public server on my private IP um, for self-hosting, and I feel like it's it's totally like. I feel like realms are overpriced. Well, I think realms aren't overpriced. I feel like given my technical expertise and knowledge, having a buying server space for a Minecraft server is overpriced. But that's specifically for me. I think if you don't know how to have a server, how to run a physical server, um, and you don't know, like you don't happen to have a computer that can be converted to a server, I think that a lot of the Minecraft hosting sites are a pretty good deal, actually. Accidentally trips. You guys are jinxing me so hard. Jinxing me so hard. I do not appreciate that. Okay. Uh, we'll keep putting the stone in here. We'll, we can use the rest of these, uh, these bricks. Oh, I guess that's it. So, 29 does not... An entire structure make. Did I have more of these bricks? I did. Why did I put them away? That's kind of silly of me. That's that's not it. That's that's a whole block. Oh, we had a good groove going. We almost had it. Now I'm just messing up a lot. Now one once you mess up one of these things, like the muscle memory's gone. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I just wanted this nice platform so that we have room to do stuff. Now that we're not really playing with that single block anymore, it's time It's time to expand. And I want to expand at this level, and then I want to actually make uh, a glass bottom, which I will definitely grind off camera. But I want a glass bottom that extends like, it's like a 100 block circle radius or something, which I understand is a lot of glass. Like, cause I know Yoshi's working on a project similar to that in a private world that we've got, we've had for a while. I don't know that it's ever going to be done on that world. So, yeah. That's going to be a lot of glass, but that'll be like after a lot of stuff happens. Because we would need a villager trading hall for that, which we don't have yet. Um, I can keep farming these pumpkins up and carrots to keep trading for emeralds since we don't have a lot of emerald income and I want to get that fortune pick going as soon as possible let's see I don't I don't have enough for anything yet okay so then we can keep we can keep cooking up a uh, cobblestone into stone it would be better to convert this to a smooth stone generator I mean not smooth stone but you know stone if someone has tried to make a hundred block half sphere of glass that is a lot of glass oh oh you guys want to see something cool Hold up. Hold up. We're we're about to we're about to well you've seen it before. We're just we're just gonna load this up real quick. Just just sit tight. Sit tight. Don't mind my recycle bin and my T-Rex miner. It reminds when you were gonna it reminds you of when you were gonna build eight towers of blackstone. Or each one used eight shulkers of blackstone. That's a lot of blackstone. Man, well, piglins trade it though, so if you have a pretty solid automated gold farm feeding an automated piglin trader, then, like, you can get eight, eight stacks of, or eight shulkers pretty quick, but that's a lot of materials. Alright, you guys ready? Uh, don't mind me, uh, experimenting with world eating. Do I not have my wings on? Why did I not put my wings on? That's silly of me. Uh, I'm doing a I'm doing a border project with that, so uh, but I want to show you I want to show you the biggest thing I've done out of glass, and this will be kind of like what we'll end up with. It's this way. I just have to remember. 
This is kind of our large scale build server. And then we had some chunk issues, but this is the, uh, the hundred, it's 99 across in diameter. And that was a lot of glass to place accurately. And it's all white stained glass. So that was probably the biggest thing that I've done. And I get terrible frames in here, but I used to have glass all the way through the middle section too as a floor. And uh, I don't know, so. Come on, come on, I'm stuck in here. Anyways, that was, uh, yeah, so beautiful. Don't mind my desktop. Don't, don't mind it at all. I should probably turn that off before I accidentally, like, dock somebody. If someone were to donate right now, it might dox you. Actually, I don't, I don't think so. I think the cat cam's covering it. <laughs> Someone's like, I'll show you. I'll make you feel real bad about doxing me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the, okay, no. I won't let you. <laughs> I'm gonna go do the donate. <laughs> Bean Quackers comes in and he just like drops a, drops a dono. He's like, you doxed me, no. <laughs> He's been almost doxed so many times. It's really, it's really kind of comical now. How often he's been almost doxxed. Oh, hydrate, thank you. I might host this world on a server once we get some auto farms going. So that it goes when we're not looking. So like this auto farm, like you can see it has two sugarcane fell since we checked last. It's really slow though, it needs expansion. But for a paper source that's just fully automated, it's it's not too bad at the moment. Okay, so we're gonna keep expanding that as we get the stone bricks for it, which I think the map will update and it'll end up looking really cool. Yeah, yeah, the map's updating. Actually, that looks really cool with the stone bricks because it blends in with the gray. It's just gonna be this kind of shadowy edge outline. I like that a lot, that's really cool. Okay, we can sleep in like four seconds. Three, two, one, sleep. I know my Minecraft sun pixel height. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's something I should know, um, but I know eye height is like two and a half blocks tall, just above two and a half blocks. So I know that when the sun, the bottom of the sun hits the top of this two and a half block high thing, then I can sleep. But that's, that's like, I know tiny details like that in Minecraft, but I miss some of the big... Why are there two of you? Hey, buddy. Hey, hey there, buddy. Why is there still lava? Is that is that a visual bug? Hold up. I think that's a visual bug. It was a visual bug. Okay, that was super weird. I was like, uh, did I just accidentally break 16.4? Which, in which lava is not renewable? I don't want to hit my villagers though. It's all good. It's all good. As long as he doesn't punch a villager. Or me. Then we'll be okay. He shouldn't. He better not. Alright, we'll keep the fire going. And then that should kill him. It takes like two and a half lava buckets. And then we can get the, the iron from it. Why are you guys all huddling? I don't have anything you want to... I don't have anything you want to trade. Okay. That didn't really... Um, maybe it takes three lava buckets? Oh wait, fire tick is uh, dependent on like... It's random chance to put the fire out, so... Makes sense. I saw a complete... Wow. He's still alive. What do we do about this? Mm, go there. He cannot be alive for much longer. There's no way. There's no way. Come on. Come on. Become iron. You know that game Iron Bread? That's pretty much you right now, except you're, you're iron. Become, become, become less iron. Become cooked iron. Become toast, nice toasty, yes. He dropped four iron too, that's nice. Okay, 
I don't want to keep holding the lava bucket because I'm accident prone. Um, let's grab some dirt and let's really expand this area too. I'll grab some oak logs or oak planks and I'll grab some dirt um, and we'll keep cooking up more cobblestone because we have a generator for it so we're not missing out on anything. What kind of wood do we have? We have... Okay, we'll stay organized. We have oak planks for a border. I think... We did spruce fences up there, and we need a lot of dirt. Which is renewable in 1.16.4, because you can trade for gravel with the piglins. Okay, let's see here. So let's take down this fence, because we're going to be expanding. Oh, 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 wait. Fabulous graphics. There, yeah, that's better. Why am I using a sword for that? Swords don't make that any faster. Okay, we'll chop down all this stuff. Also, it might be time to make a diamond axe. What do you guys think? We have infinite diamonds now because of that one block. Oh, you know what? No, we're gonna, we're gonna, that's the other thing I wanna do is expand the villagers a little bit. We're gonna get a toolsmith and then we'll get a diamond axe. And uh, axe, shovel, sword, and hoe, I believe, you can get from the toolsmith and the weaponsmith. And then we'll also need an armor smith. Wow. It's rude when they're just one block taller than, uh, than you can reach. Okay, so that'll deal with all the leaves. Um, we'll trim this back to here. Keep harvesting our pumpkins. Oh, I wonder if these leaves are staying because of the fence. Spruce fence. I wonder if it counts as wood. Well, it's gone now. Fido, you've done a great job protecting this side of the world from intruders. I don't know if we named the dog. We didn't have name tags, and I don't think I, w I don't think I would have used the name tag, our only name tag, to name the dog. I was like, how is that cow so tall that he's standing? He's standing on the barrel. Okay, we're also gonna remove these. If we can catch them, that's great. If not, oak is renewable, no big deal. See, this is why I want that platform down there expanded because then I don't have to worry about falling off the edge, being a klutz, which means we'll fall off the edge a lot more, but that's okay because it, it doesn't matter as much. Okay, so I don't really know how to expand this seven. This is one, two, three, four, so that's seven. And then maybe one, two, and then one, and then one, and then one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Oh, we're, re we're really expanding this zone. Okay. That's fine though, because we need a lot more farmland. Two, Three, that's four. One, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is gonna be ideal. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna run out of dirt. Oh, watch this. Heh. Wait, did that line up with the edge of this? Oh, that would have been great if it lined up with the edge of this. That's okay if it goes over the edge though. Okay, um, I'm also going to grab some stairs. Are these birch stairs? Yeah. And I'm going to grab a water bucket. I should have grabbed more dirt. That's why I went down there in the first place. I was like, let's grab some more dirt. And I grabbed everything but dirt. I'm telling you. I'm highly distractible and distracted. Oh, so what you do to get more dirt, here's the process, if, if you're like, how is dirt farmable? You need to tell us, but you haven't actually, like, put that in the chat, um, because, you know, why? <laughs> why would you? Then you combine dirt with gravel, two, and then two gravel plus two dirt becomes coarse dirt. Uh, and then you put the coarse dirt on the ground, and I believe you can use a hoe on it to turn it into soil, 
which when you harvest soil, it is it comes up as regular dirt. So you can essentially convert two gravel into dirt. Also, does this look circular? Because if this looks circular, then I'm a mad genius. Because I didn't bother looking it up. It was such a short... I messed up somewhere. One, two, four, one, two, one, one. Where did I mess it up? How did I mess it up? What in the world? One, two, one, 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 two, one. Did I not go out enough on this side? Oh, did I go too far out on this? I went too far out on this side. That's that's how I messed it up. Which is all right, because then we just have to tra shave one off the edge of all these. There, now it's looking nice and uh, prim and proper, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Yeah, so I know like weird, obscure, I guess I know some weird, obscure Minecraft trivia and not all of it. So I guess I'm, I'm a fairly experienced Minecrafter now. Also, Hannibal did some work on me because he's he's in the, the PT field. I won't I won't dox his actual profession. Not that I think it matters if you if you know that some guy on the Internet named Hannibal does a certain job. Um, I don't think that's a real dox because there's no way you could identify him from that unless he like revealed some other information about himself. Um, even if I told you his like city and the medical field that he's in or specific job and say there's no way you could pinpoint who he is. But that aside, um, he did some work on me, but it wasn't like actual work, if that makes sense. It was definitely, I was like, hey, by the way, I have like a rib that's out of place. And he's like, oh, I can kind of look at it. But he didn't have any of his uh, equipment with him. And so he was kind of working on me and kind of pressing on my ribs and stuff. And my whole body is sore now. I don't know what happened. I think in response to my ribs moving, my body's like, mm, how about uh, you don't do that again? How about we were hurting a little bit? It was really just discomfort with the rib being out of place. Sometimes they're painful. This one was just uncomfortable. And it was like, hey, how about instead of responding to mild discomfort with, uh, with pressing and poking, how about we just live with the mild discomfort forever? And now my whole body hurts, so. So there's that. Wow, we're gonna use all our dirt. Maybe not. But I grabbed it all because we've had to go back once and there's no reason not to grab it all. We could have done some quick maths to determine exactly how much we needed, but uh, that's a whole mess. So, yeah. Yeah, so we went away to a cabin in the woods in Mount Whitney. We are very blessed. Um, some very dear family friends who are very much like a third set of grandparents for me when I was growing up. Uh, they are very, very generous and fairly well off people. And so they they graciously like let people use their cabin at Mount Whitney. And it's so cool of them to do that because um, they definitely don't need to. And so my family's enjoyed it, using it for a long time. Okay, so let's plan out our farmland a little better. A little better. How do I, let me, let me down. Oh, don't let me down that way. Okay, so we can put all our dirt away. We can, I want to grab some more spruce, or more birch, excuse me. Because I want to make some more birch stairs, and I want to also bring up two water buckets so we can have an infinite source up there. I love having all my chests as infinite sources. Might as well sleep. If we manually sleep now, it's less for the phantoms to get us with later. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna grab my jack-o'-lanterns too. I have a couple more down here. I think that'll make nice light. Mm, 
plants. Got, uh, I'm gonna put one pumpkin here. We can carve these pumpkins. Do I have my shears with me? I used up my shears and I haven't made new ones. We can carve the pumpkin. Oh, thank you for the stretch too. Yeah, I'm complaining about my whole body hurting and not doing anything to solve the problem. That's just how it goes here. Oh, everything, everything. It kind of feels like the cartilage in my spine is rebelling a little bit and it's like, you know what? We've been doing a lot of work for you in not letting your bones touch in your spine and we're tired. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna not do that anymore for you. And I'm like, uh, excuse me. I like the bones in my spine not touching. Thank you for the stretch. That was wonderful. Okay, so we have stairs and stairs and stairs. So what we're gonna do is have an infinite source heat. That's not ideal. We're just gonna do a little bit like this and like this. That didn't work. Oh, because there's nothing under it. Mm. Give me one minute. One minute. That should have made a source in the middle, actually. It definitely should have. Oh, now this one's all complainy. Okay, hold up. We're gonna fix this water stream. It's not fixed. It It's not. It's never gonna be okay. It's all wonky now forever. My bad. Okay, we'll just put these under here like that. That's perfect for now. Okay, now will you be an infinite source? Yes, now it's an infinite source. Also, now I don't need these things here anymore, but that's okay. So what I wanna do is plan this out. Let me see how far out I can get with these ones. I can go one, two, three, four. And I can go one, one, two, three, four. So I can have all this area. Uh, one, two, three, four. So it goes to here. And then one, two, three, four. Because ultimately I'm not going to have, I'm not going to have these two out here. I'm just going to have the one in the middle. Oh, well, time for an iron hoe. How about that? Do I have enough iron on me for that? I do! Because I accidentally still had the one from before. Okay, let's pull up all of these. Let's take this. Let me... Did I bring any dirt up with me? Kind of. Okay. Uh, at the cost of this water source and all this farmland. I was standing too close to that. Actually, Doggo, I'm gonna just put you right here in the middle. Yeah, that's perfect. Sit on that middle water source. Okay, we're losing our pumpkins for now, but that's okay. So we've got this big old square. So if I put something, let's see, I need it to touch, is this dead center? It is dead center. Okay, did I mess up on this side? One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, there it is, okay. I was like, uh, I messed something up. Hold up though, because this, I messed something up big time. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two. There's where I messed it up. Okay. I was like, something is really wrong here. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Now everything's even again. All right. So we're going to need... And I want this to be path. I'm going to have to replace this with, uh, with grass. Because you can't make path out of dirt in 116. Which is a bit unfortunate. But that's okay. We have grass and we can easily spread grass and soak touch it. 
because we have a silk touch pick. But that's nice and even now. Okay, so what if we put a water source? What if we put it here? One, two, three, four. What if we put a water source? Well, we don't need it super on the edge, but... Can we get away with having just one here? No, we need at least two. So we're probably going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Going around the edges. I wonder if we can get a corner stair here. You think we're clever enough to get a corner stair? Is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. It doesn't look even. There's a solution to this, which is just use slabs, because you don't need stairs. That's that's not not even remotely the right one. Okay, here we go. One, two. Okay, so what if we put a slab there? You can't get the corner ones without multiple stairs. Dang, I think I had a mod for it that I accidentally installed in a server one time. And it was so nice because you could actually just get corner stairs without the whole server being a corner stair thing. And uh, yeah, it was great. I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty fantastic. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let's water bucket those in. And then we'll see how far our farmland gets us. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Uh, no. That, that are not, that are not your job. Okay. That, uh, one, two, three, four. Because we're going to lose the farm at one, two, three, four that we had before here. There's a lot of usable space. One, two, three, four. I'm glad I made an iron hoe. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what if instead of that, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have this strip of three. So if we move this over a little bit, well, we can move it to here. And then one, two, three, four. Actually, it would have been better here, but then we have a strip of one in there. What if you made the middle a walkway area? Oh, I could do that. Yeah, that would make sense. Or we can plant pumpkins along the side there. But that, mmm, kind of a waste of land, but it would look good. That's true. That's true. Or, I'm trying to think. Okay, so let me fill these in. Actually, let me take this up first, and then we'll just move the water in by one, because there's no reason to have it out towards the edge that far. Other than I thought it would be kind of cool, but I did not plan it very effectively. And then, let's see, if we go, because that's all the way, wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that'll cover a lot more than this did. <laughs> all the animals are just looking at me like, dude, what are you doing? You're running around with 1,400 metric tons of stuff on your back. Why are you doing this? Okay, we'll put the dirt here. Yeah, and we'll experiment a little bit with it. So... We'll do this, and we'll go one, two, three, four, and four. That's, that's better. No, no, you, this is not, that's not your job. Let me just put these back. Wow, the days go by so fast in Minecraft.
Okay, and then um, we're just gonna we're just gonna stomp all these. Okay, that looks better. If I had planned better, I would have made the circle one diameter shorter. <laughs> that would have solved all our problems. But then we would have had an even circle, so I would have had to make it two shorter, and then we wouldn't have had as much usable space. Okay, so here's this part. Oh, we can do this too. Let's do these first. And then I want to replace this with a slab because then they'll all be slabs and that'll be so nice. That's so nice. Okay, and then we can put our jack-o'-lanterns here and they'll light up the whole thing. And we'll make them face uh, outwards for protection. Although I do need to, I do need to make three more. Jack Hollow. Jack O' Lantern. That'll be a nice light to our farmland. And I think with 15 light output, that should do the whole thing. Like, I, th I don't think I'll have anywhere. This would be the darkest spot right here. Let me see. That's not the right button. I don't know what I just pushed, but... Oh, it's six block. Ah, no, they're not enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put another water thing, one in from the edge here, um, on all the sides, and that'll, that'll be okay. And I already got rid of my water source. I've reminded myself that I forgot. Uh, did you watch... Sounds like you're making a John Halo joke. I did not watch the Nintendo Direct. I don't know what that is, even. What is it? Oh wait, is that like the, the Nintendo announcement forum show type thing for Nintendo gamers? Oh wait, I need to put water in those. Mm. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, I forgot I can't jump. Wow, we used almost the whole iron pick. I should have put the other water bucket in there first. I only have one water bucket. Okay, that's news to me. Oh, Animal Crossing is getting an update. That's cool. That's super cool. I like that. Is it like a, oh, they're adding a Nintendo 64. I heard about the Nintendo 64 emulator, which is super exciting. That's double, double left click is not the way to go with that. That is really exciting. Um, and it's like the Nintendo, oh wait, no, Nintendo Direct is like the, is that like the name of their like pro tier for Nintendo online? I don't like that they're not just including that I did not hear about the Mario animated movie. That is less than exciting. <laughs> that seems like it's less than exciting. <laughs> I could be wrong. But also I could be right. All right, we'll make some more jack-o'-lanterns. Well, with this many, we could have put them up on like stakes or stilts or whatever, so. Chris Pratt is playing Mario and Jack Black is Bowser. That's worth watching. I, you know, I take it all back. That is absolutely worth watching. I might even watch it. I might even watch it when Nintendo, whoa, wait, what, what platform would that even come out on? I mean, probably theaters or whatever, but like, I'm not sure what platform it would come out on. Okay, now let's border these. After all, we did bring the oak just for this occasion. And this will allow us to put a nice fence up around the edge. 
Wait a second. Oh, we added more pump. I was like, if the light was bad before, now it's gonna be a bigger problem. That's interesting that they're doing, cause I know like Nintendo is Japanese owned, right? So if they're getting into movies, they're moving into like Hollywood territory, which I know there's like international films and stuff, but Iron Golem, I saw you, you son of a gun. You are not supposed to be up there. And I saw, I saw you jump. That is not what you're supposed to do, sir. Messing up my whole thing. That's it. We're putting an anti-iron golem boundary. No iron golems here. We could have made it out of leaves. We're gonna make it out of leaves. <laughs> that looks so bad. <laughs> they sort of announced the final Smash Fighter. Oh, October 5th is coming up really fast. Really, really fast. I can take these out now. Okay, why was I down here? I was getting leaves. Okay, we can drop this stuff off in plants, plants... Wow, we have a lot of carrots. Um, I'm gonna keep these because they're for villager trading. And I'm gonna... get three more water buckets. Just ready to go, because they're easier to grab than they are to fill up, so... And we don't really need to keep one on us. I want to keep the lava bucket on us, so when we need to deal with iron golems, we can. We have more cobblestone somehow. Um, we can keep going with the stone brick slabs. Let's see, we're gonna need to do something about the backs of these chests too. Oh, we fixed the water source, kind of. It's still, it's still pretty messed up. Okay, let's see. Let me eat these pork chops. Also, to see the community be salty as always. Who was it that they kept not adding and ignoring the fact that everyone was recommending him? And it was like, it was a bigger than like a Waluigi thing. It was like people were asking, maybe it was Waluigi. People were asking for this character. Was it Gino? Geno? Gino? Ooh, G Genos from One Punch would be an amazing addition, by the way. Um. Yeah, people kept asking and asking and asking, and they were just like, mm, Nah. <laughs> mm, no, we don't want to... Uh-uh. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, I need a bunch of signs. I need... 12 signs. That... Uh, mm. 12 signs because I need to put them on the backs of this. Kind of exciting to see this filled in though. We haven't had a back to this. It's been really unsettling not having a back to this. I don't know if you guys have felt it, but I definitely have. So it's really nice to be getting this all nice and sealed in finally. And with this, that should cut the water stream off to the bottom. Which is nice. Okay, I don't really need to keep going with this one, but let me do the backsides of the other chests, because we have it. They don't really listen to the community as much as they used to- Yeah, that's the consensus I kind of got too. Oh, we had seven chests, so I needed two more spruce signs. Which is... How do you even make a sign? Can I even make one now? No, I don't have enough birch. Unfortunate. Now I do. Boom. Now we have one too many, but that's okay. Yeah, it used to be like community pick, and then they like asked for a community pick, and then the community decided, and they're like, oh yeah, no, see, we're not gonna do that. And the community's like, then why did you even ask? You know, like, you didn't have to ask. 
You could have just decided. But I think they were like putting feelers out to determine like who the community kind of wanted to see. And then they're like, okay, we can actually get the rights to that character and make money off it. It seems like Nintendo's more of a money grab than it used to be. Which is unfortunate, because I like Nintendo a lot. And it's kind of sad to see them going the way of the money grab. Hundred percent, yeah. I know we did like two around the other side and now we're only doing one around this side. Some of you guys might have caught that. I, I just, I've been just focusing on, on placing blocks. I can get into this like, like, is it cathartic? Is that the right word for it? State in Minecraft where I just start placing blocks and 14 hours goes by and I'm like, yeah, I, I was just super focused on it for a second. Also, oh, I added this dispenser. So this has glass bottles in it. Wait. Did my one bee that I had in here escape and fly down to the bottom? That's so sad. I lost my bee friend. Oh, maybe he followed me down there when I had the flower. Oh man. All right, we're gonna have to find more bees. I I put that there. I made a few honey blocks. I made six, but you can dispense the bottle into the hive instead of manually collecting it and then the bee won't get mad. And then you don't need to smoke the bees. Because I didn't have enough room to smoke the bees. But if you just dispense the bottle, then you're good. Oh, that's so sad. Well, sorry guys, I, I lost track of the bee. Uh, he followed me down to the bottom and... He went the way of the other bees. Wait, my zoom isn't working. Why isn't my zoom working? Am I in Optifine even? I don't think I'm in Optifine anymore. Oh wait, uh... Fancy. Now I can zoom? No. How? What? I don't even know, man. I, I think I'm in vanilla 16.4. <laughs> rip B, rip B, rippy. Rip, rip the B. Oh, maybe he's up there. Ah, uh, it's hard to tell. There's no honey in it. And I haven't heard the plopping noises of a bee going in and out of the hive. So that's a little bit unfortunate. What a bummer. But we're making good progress down here. And I can drop off some of these things. Well, I'll need more spruce fences. I'm gonna actually save my birch planks because I don't have a lot of birch. And I do have another beehive. Maybe there's bees in the beehive. I don't think so though. Um, I can put the barrel in chests. And then... Are we ready to build an automated pumpkin farm? I think we are, okay. So let's grab some redstone, let's grab some rails, let's grab some gold, and more redstone, and we're going to need some cobblestone, and some stone, and some nether quartz, and really trying to think of what else we're gonna need. We're gonna need iron. Uh, probably a lot of iron. Um, we're gonna need some wood, which we have, and that's good. Okay. So, I will show you the design that I have for this thing. Oh, we're gonna get leaves for that. Uh, oh, perfect. Ow. Less than perfect. Okay. I need, like, five leaves. That'll be good. And then we'll make our uh, anti-golem zone over here. Because I don't want the golems going over and stomping our plants. There we go. And it's non-spawnable because leaves are non-solid blocks. Okay. Oh, I was like, do I have exactly two? No. That looks a little funky. Not gonna lie, that looks funky. 
<laughs> um, we'll we'll connect them. We'll we'll bring more wood up there afterwards. But right now, I want to do our. Oh, it's a jack o' lantern. I was like, how did a pumpkin just get right there? Let me trade carrots to this guy first. Oh, my discount went away. There's the discount. Okay, well, we missed out on like three carrots or whatever. That's okay. Um, we can plant... I guess we can just start planting. Should have thought of that before I traded all my carrots. Now we have three carrots. I am not... I am... I am... I am not a smart man. Thank you. Thank you, past me. Okay, uh, let's see. What else do we have going on? So, I want to build the pumpkin farm up. Uh, okay, good. We're going to use up the rest of this hoe. We're gonna need, we need a water bucket, too. Someday, we'll have an ice farm. We can build an ice farm pretty quick, too. We just have to go up high and then it'll be manual but that's okay for now where did our iron golem go H iron golem how did you get down here even how how this better not turn to uh oh oh smooth stone okay that's convenient Really annoying having to kill this guy with the lava bucket without the fire tick damage. Okay, good. That worked out. Okay. I have my water bucket. I have no slabs. I need a slab. Let's do spruce, because we have a lot of spruce. So how high do we want to build this thing? Probably we want the bottom to be one more up. So I apologize, farmland, but we're just going to destroy you for a minute. And that'll just be okay. Yeah, that'll be a, a nice bottom for it. And I should just build a crafting table. So I will do that in one second. Because we're gonna need one. Okay, so we go like this. Four, five. Here's our footprint, pretty much. And... Where did I put that crafting table? Did I plop it down already? I've already misplaced it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Excuse me? Did I not craft it yet? I thought I did. Could have sworn I already crafted it. Okay, that'll be the middle. I could have sworn I crafted that thing, but I did not, as is evidenced by it not being crafted. Oh, I could have moved those in another one and then not have the center one, but that's okay. This looks kind of nice. Okay, so we're going to make more slabs because we're going to use a lot of them. This is going to be kind of the footprint for our iron farm. We'll just do a nice little, or not iron farm, for our uh, pumpkin farm. We'll just do a nice little 3x3 three three here. This will have a railway going above it, so then... We need this here, and we need, I didn't bring any dirt. I need some dirt, man. I need some dirt. One stack should be plenty. Five by five dirt minus one is 24. One stack should be plenty of dirt. So that's going to be where our water source goes. And then... 
Actually, let's place our rails now. I need some powered rails. And I need a hopper and a chest, actually. So... Uh, away we go. Ah! <laughs> I was like, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I could not make it. Okay, and we need a chest. We we can use a barrel. We don't need a sign. We don't need our pumpkins. And we don't need a jack- Uh, I'd like to light the top. So I'll use a jack lantern to light the top. We need a chest, and we need a barrel. And then the chest we'll use with our five iron to make a hopper. Actually, we're gonna need another hopper, so we need another chest. Okay. And we can't auto-craft those. Because the chest is named. Okay, so we have that. We have our minecart, and we have our minecart with hopper. And with that, I think we have enough now to craft the main part of the rail system. So we need a solid block on one side. And then we need a solid block on the other side. It's gonna be a little ugly, but that's okay. We're just starting out. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we'll need two rails there. And then, you know what? I'm gonna take this out for a second. I'm gonna take this out for a second. And I'm gonna take this out for a second. Ooh. I'm digging the I'm digging the music. That's pretty cool. I have two crafting tables! Where was it? Where was it sitting? I knew it. I knew it was somewhere. somewhere. Okay, a bit ugly, but that's okay. And I think... Oh. We need more rails, too. Okay. Forgot how uh, troubling it is to place rails. Oh, we need our hopper first too. So let's add the hopper here. I don't think the hopper will lock being next to this redstone block because I think this is not a powered block. It is power, if that makes any kind of sense. So let's put the barrel down. Where I'm, I'm gonna say if I lose this barrel, and then we'll put the hopper pointing into the barrel. And can it pick up objects? It cannot because it is locked because of this redstone. Okay, so we'll move this. It'll be a little off center, but that'll be okay. just took that out. I'm working against myself here. Okay. We'll close that in. We'll close this in. We'll close that in. And then this should be fine now. And if we put our minecart with hopper here, does it do the whole thing? It does. Cool. So, then, we need another slab. This will be our water source. And then we need dirt all around it. 
So the reason we did a minecart hopper there is because a hopper cannot pick up items from a full block above it. So if we put hoppers under this dirt, then when the pumpkins drop, they wouldn't go anywhere. But a hopper with minecart can. So that can pick up objects that float on here. So I'll show you. I'll just drop I'll just drop this. See how it got picked up by that thing when it went by? It's coming back. So that can grab it. And then this hopper underneath will put it into this barrel. And we should be able to see our items in the barrel. Yes. Okay, so that was good. Now we're gonna plant some we're gonna put some pumpkins down. So we need to hoe the land that needs to have the pumpkins attached. And I think, what's the best place to put pumpkins? If we put them diagonal like this, Twelve pumpkins? And the other way would be twelve pumpkins. Yeah, it's twelve either way. So, this is fine. Do we even have the pumpkin seeds for it? Ah, oh, I put the pumpkin seeds away. Urgh. That's fine. It was a risky jump, but I really didn't want to have to hoe that thing again. Okay, so we'll grab our... What, what did I right click the first time? I'm not sure. Grab our pumpkin seeds. We only need 12. Then we need to make a bunch of pistons, uh, 12, and 12 observers. So, what did we run out of? We ran out of wood. That's totally fine. Okay, that's 12 of those. We're gonna need more. Are we going to need more cobblestone for the observers? Yes, we are. Okay. Well, good thing we have this. And actually, you know what? I'm going to change it a little bit. We have a bucket, so hold on one second. Because flowing downwards originally was intended to make it... Um, to make it, what's it called? to make it smooth stone, but instead, or regular stone instead of cobblestone, but that, that didn't work out. So we're gonna do it the other way. I need to put a cobblestone there. This is so that it doesn't catch anything on fire. And then I believe this should also convert to cobble. Yes, and we can grab it easier. Yeah, that's much better. A lot of times the blocks fly upwards. Um, and when they did when it was on top, they just instantly just got disintegrated by the lava. So we only needed 12, so we're good now. We can eat our last pork chop before switching to golden carrots. And okay, we're looking really good now. We're looking really good. I miscalculated. We need a lot more cobblestone. I'm gonna just go right up against it. I don't think I'll get burned. It was scary though. It was real scary. I forgot how long it takes to collect resources when you're early game. So It takes so long. Also, I really need to save up and get mending on this pickaxe before I lose it. Because it's, it's our only silk touch pick. Okay, so if we needed six per, and we had 12, and we have, we have five, so we need seven more observers, and they take six each, so we need 42 cobblestone. Quick maths, quick maths. And we might need to pick up more redstone dust. It's such a simple farm though, I love this farm design. Oh, I think in 117 they introduced the redstone dust dot versus cross. No, wait, that might have been 116.4. Because I think I used it in making a lot of the farms on the legacy server that we have. Okay, we have plenty of cobblestone now. 
Which is good, because I use it as uh, bamboo, because I'm too lazy, or as a, a scaffolding, because I'm too lazy to go harvest the bamboo. Also in 116.4, I think carpet duping is an option, which is uh, kind of a nice option. Okay, so here's kind of how I did not craft the observers. Cool. So we need to get these going. I believe when you place them from above, it faces downwards. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So we plant our pumpkins. Are you guys following along at home? We plant our pumpkins. Then we make these observers face downwards. Did it place? Where did the other one place? Did it glitch out? I think it glitched out. That's okay though. Oh yeah, it's back in our inventory. Okay, so we place these here, looking at these stems. You don't have to do all of them, but I like to. Uh, let me think about the efficiency loss if you don't have all of them. I guess in theory, it's not where you go, bud. I lost it. I lost it. It's in the barrel. I can't see the barrel from here. Urgh! We we're so close to. Okay, so what these will do is whenever a stem grows a pumpkin, the observer will see the change and output a redstone signal. And then, these pistons, do we have a trapdoor? We need a trapdoor, because I don't have elytra. <laughs> That's a weird sentence right there. You ever just need a trapdoor because you don't have elytra? Yeah, me too. Uh, it'll be obvious why in a second. I need to, I need to lie flat on my belly. Because I need to place these pistons face down. Like this. So the pistons will go over every place a pumpkin could grow. And uh, these redstone guys will fire off a signal whenever the stem grows, which will make all these pistons go down and break the pumpkins. So all we need to do is wire up the redstone on top. Now, I don't know that this will work. Um, we could try it. We could place this torch down. Yeah, the piston- oh, the piston did fire! Okay. That's perfect then. So we need more redstone dust. We could probably almost reach it from the top. But we can't quite reach it from the top. I over-engineered this last time I did this then. Also, I don't think mobs can spawn up here because, uh... But you know what, just in case, we'll, we'll throw our jack-o'-lantern here to light the whole area. Oh, you know what, a spider technically could spawn here, I believe, on one of these, because there's enough space for it. Even though it's technically wider than a block, I think it only needs one block to spawn. There's some weird spawning mechanics with spiders, but this is pretty much it. So then I do want to surround it in glass just so that it's full collection of pumpkins. So let me go smelt up some glass. Which I know we're using our valuable sand for it, but we can make a sand duper here eventually. Oh, maybe we can't. No, we definitely can. Yeah, we can make a sand duper. So it's 5x5x5, five by five by five, so we need 20, right? Yeah, that's perfect. We can kind of get organized a little bit. Okay, we can put our iron back now. 
Although I think we'll switch to iron tools. Uh, building materials. We can leave our redstone in here that we didn't use. This is a bucket. Oh, we need to keep we need to keep that one on us. Yeah, that's right. Okay, also I need What do I need? Uh I need to put this stuff away. It's oddly quiet. Oh, I had a glass already. Well, that's okay. Okay, I think we're pretty well organized now. Uh, I need to make more- Oh, no! That was close. That was really close. I need to make more spruce fences, so let me grab all that spruce back. Music is grooving. I'm digging the synthwave stuff. I'm on a synthwave kick. We probably need some more oak too. Do we have any more oak? For the edges up there. Okay. I think that's gonna be enough. Might not be enough fences. It's definitely enough oak though. I can't believe we traded all those. Oh, we need to get our glass too. Man, I'm doing everything out of order. This might be the last one. Nope, oh, still got some life left in it. Okay. Glass isn't quite smelted up. I am gonna take that sand back because sand could be potentially a valuable resource for crafting TNT and the like. All that stuff, you know. We don't need the rest of that redstone dust. What did we come down for? We came down for the glass. Okay, let me grab that one other glass. Four more durability. So sad about my bee. I need to fully enclose this, and then when I have bees, I'll, uh, when I start mining the center one again, because bees could randomly spawn in now, I'll keep a lead around and a boat. Um, in case we can get a pillager uh, that doesn't get silenced immediately by the iron golem, something like that. So, because they spawn those like uh, harmless ones, so that'd be really nice. But I'm glad to get this pumpkin farm up and running. This will be a really nice addition. I could turn these into glass panes, but I think we would miss out a little bit. Oh, did that use a durability on the hoe? No, it didn't. Okay, that's good. And I need a potato. Really need a potato. Why do you need a potato? Uh, I just need... Oh, it's already working. So it's not that a pumpkin grew already, it's just that the stem changed and you saw all of the pistons drop. That's what we want. No! Actually, I am gonna leave that filled in like that. And I'm gonna do that over here too. Cause then nothing can spawn on top of that one either. Cool. All right, we got our automated pumpkin farm working. Yeah, and you guys can see it going. That's so cool. That went really, really well. Okay, so that'll keep going, and that'll get us most of our uh, most of our emerald income. 
I think I have one carrot downstairs. I'm gonna leave it there though, because you saw how easily I can accidentally trade away all of my carrots. So I like to keep at least one of everything in here. And I have poisonous potatoes, which drives me crazy. That means that I like ate all my potatoes somehow. Oh, it drives me so crazy that I was irresponsible like that. Okay, so now what? Oh, we can do the fence gates. Can't quite sleep yet. Can't quite sleep yet. You guys are going to see what I mean about the sun touching that that one pixel right there. And that's how you know the sun's going down for uh, sleep time. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's do these first because I think that'll make it easier for us. So anybody do anything fun over the weekend? Anybody uh, find anything exciting recently? Our gardeners uh, took out a lot of dead leaves that we left in the back, and that was exciting. That means I'm definitely an adult now. I get excited when our gardeners take away piles of leaves so that we don't have to. Actually, I might have overdone it with the farmland. I don't. I don't know that farmland is spawnable because it's not a full block. In fact, I would seriously doubt if it's spawnable because it's not a full block. So that might have been good. Your weekend was good and you miss online school so much. Oh man. It isn't spawnable? Well, then we didn't have to light it up. That's okay, it looks so nice. I guess we could switch these to carpets, and then we could use these to light up other stuff, but... This could use some, some work, too. That's nothing compared to Warlords 5? Oh, you've gotten three possible COVID exposures. Oh, man. Yeah, the schools are not doing well with the COVID front. Not at all. I know a couple of teachers and I know a couple of students and it just is going crazy. If it if it makes you feel better, I've had one COVID exposure since school started and I don't go to school. But I'm fully vaxxed, so you, I think you mean 15. Have you really had 15 COVID exposures? That's crazy. Man, 15 COVID exposures. So I only need six. One, two, three. I only needed three, but that's okay. We got we got plenty now, and that's looking real nice. Let's go check out that on the map and see what we got going on. Also, we can keep doing our uh, stone slab platform. Mob building materials. Where did those bricks go, Baron? We can do cracked stuff too. I just want to get the thing in there before we start texturing like crazy. You know what I mean? Okay, we just had the rest of this one to do. And we can go two this time. Because we're kind of starting to expand in a way that uh, makes it look nicer. Not just completely utilitarian. That was kind of a creepy ending to that song. Most are from the same lunch, oh no. One lunch and just 15 people got COVID. It's dumb because they try and enforce rules to keep you away from each other, but you walk in the hallways and you're forced to walk less than six in. Yeah, I know. That's the whole thing. And like for elementary school, because again, like I know some teachers, like for elementary school, they're like, yeah, it's not really a six foot thing. It's a three foot thing. And I'm like, okay, three foot kind of makes sense, right? Because if it's elementary school, then the kids are half the size of people. 
so it makes sense that it's half the distance. But also, if you think about it, that doesn't make any sense. Because it's respiratorily passed, right? It's like a particulate when people, like, breathe and sneeze and stuff. So six feet is how far the particulates project outwards. So, like, saying that the kids don't need to be far because they're smaller like they still expel particulates at the same rate oh this is looking really good now it's looking real good now so good i'm really happy with how this is turning out okay we need to put uh we need to put a couple more trade tables over here so let's see what it takes for a weaponsmith a toolsmith and an armor smith so I believe I need iron to craft one of the tables. And I need, oh, I need smooth stone for one of them, like legitimate smooth stone. Cause I need a blast furnace. So I need a grindstone, a blast furnace, and a smithing table. So there's one. What is a grindstone though? I think it's stone slabs, which means we're gonna be completely out of cobblestone. We can make slabs now. I think it's stone slabs and sticks and... Yeah, yeah, and wood. Okay, so there's two. We just need one more. I can go drop this off here. And I store the wood with the wood. You know what, that's probably driving someone crazy. Uh... You're welcome. Okay, I don't need my hoe anymore for now. We can put these all together. Um, I'm gonna keep these emeralds with me. I'm waiting for fortune to touch all this stuff. Well, the gold and iron, I can just smelt at any time. I just haven't had the need for it yet, so, okay, we need this to turn to smooth stone, and then, let me check online, well, I should get the recipe for Blast Furnace when, uh, when I pick up the smooth stone, and then we'll check what else we need. I'm gonna preemptively assume that I need some more stone, and or cobblestone. Ow. Glad I didn't get set on fire. They get upset at you for being right next to your friends you hang out with outside of school and then you have to walk through the hallway. Yeah, the hallway thing makes no sense. Like, you would have to have every class on a different schedule and, like, tell the kids to leave the class one at a time. And then every class would have to be offset by five minutes. Of however long your hall period is to get between classes, every, every single room would have to have a different time. Or at least on parts of the school. And you'd have to send the kids out in like 15 second intervals or whatever. It, yeah, there's no way to keep kids separate in schools. There's no way. I'm totally with you. It just doesn't make any sense. And people are trying, and I think some people are actually trying to make it a better place because they're like, we really want kids to be in school because we don't have data on what happens when they learn from home. And it just, like, I think that a lot of times schools are also partially daycare. Private school is different, but public school, like, if both parents in the household work or if it's a single parent household, they rely on schools um, so their kids, for most of the day, are taken care of and also educated. Um, and so that's why I think there's this huge push to get schools back open, because otherwise a lot of people can't work because their kids are home or they have to pay for childcare, which costs, like, two-thirds, like, it costs... It obviously costs money, and it costs up to two-thirds of someone's income. And you don't really want to send your kids off to the cheapest person, right? You're not, like, I don't think any parent really wants to find the cheapest daycare and drop their kids off. So, yeah. They broke within the first day of trying to file you out one at a time. Oh, that's awful. Alright, let's pick up this smooth stone. Let's get a blasting furnace going. New recipes unlocked. Blast furnace. Oh, it's iron and smooth stone. Okay, so the cobble was just extra. Uh, but I do need a furnace. Do I have a furnace? Furnace, 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 
Nope. I knew I needed the cobble for something. Furnace. Blast furnace. Oh. Okay, cool. So we got our three trade stations. And I am not gonna care which villager gets which trade. It just doesn't really matter to me. This bed we don't need currently. So I'm gonna put this here. Put the bed out here. I don't want them to be able to jump over this, which they probably can from that bed, so. Um, okay, so now we should have one of, oh, that was convenient timing. So you are the armorer. So that'll be how we get our diamond armor. Because uh, he'll have all the diamond armor trades. And you are the weaponsmith, which is how we'll get our diamond sword. And you are the toolsmith, which is how we'll get our diamond... Uh, well, this is how we'll get our diamond axe and pickaxe. So, wait. This will be how we get the diamond axe and shovel and the pick... No. Shovel and pick come from the toolsmith. Axe and sword come from the weaponsmith. But I want the pick. So we're gonna spend... We're gonna spend some diamond... Some emeralds with you. Oh, axe can come from him too? Okay, that makes sense. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so... We can level them up by trading iron. That's nice. So we're at a wash right now. Oh, Silk Touch. Perfect. Okay, so we don't really need our Silk Touch diamond pick then. Um, and I think probably next we should get going is the iron farm, which means we're going to need to expand this area quite a bit. So we can uh, make it big enough to match this zone. Which I think would be a good idea. So let me get the required materials to expand the villager area. I think we were doing the red desert stuff. So we have a lot of red sandstone and regular sandstone. And terracotta. So we can do kind of a mix of those. Also, I'm out of food. So one sec. Um, I don't need all these axes. Might as well throw the broken one out, because I'm going to switch to iron tools pretty soon here. Well, I'm going to switch to diamond tools pretty soon here. So, okay. Building materials. We can drop our fences off. We'll need our acacia fences again. Oh, we needed food. Let me see what we have. We have a couple of golden carrots. Now we have no golden carrots. As much as it pains me, I'm gonna take the glistening melons. Okay, so we need to be on the outside of this. And we're gonna do this a little different. We're gonna kind of do this like half crescent expansion kind of thing that we had going on with the uh, with the other ways that we expanded because I think it'll end up looking kind of cool. So that's seven across, right? One, two, three, four. So then I went one, two here, and then I went one, two. And then I went one, two, and then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, four. Do these line up? Oh, they do. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
one, one. And then we can fill in some of this. Hopefully I have enough to fill this in. And then we can fill in the rest with like terracotta and stuff. And it really like doesn't matter a ton like how the pattern ends up. So, oh, we lost the terracotta. Bummer. That's okay though. Where do we get an iron sword from? Did we just have it? I don't remember having that. Oh wow. Well. And then we actually added a boundary on top of all that stuff. So we'll do the same. We might as well keep the oak theme going too. I don't know if we'll have enough oak this time around. We probably, we should. Okay, let me take all this terracotta and we'll just kind of splash it around a little bit and it'll be, it'll be cool. I don't know if cool is the right word, but it'll be. It'll be. Okay, uh, let's just put all the terracottas here and then I can kind of do this sort of thing with it. Terracotta. Weirdly skin toned terracotta. Weirdly skin toned terracotta, especially with the villager. I guess it's not really villager skin toned. I'm digging this. This is looking cool. Yeah, this is looking real neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, we didn't use a lot of brown, but that's okay. This looks this looks decent. So, you have acquired dinner finally. That took forever. What were you waiting so long for? Oh good, more carrots. A wise man would eat every now and then. Let's see what the map's looking like. It's looking cool. It's looking real cool. Okay, let's put back our terracotta stuff. And let's grab the oak. I'm just gonna turn the rest of this into planks. We're gonna need more acacia wood too. I don't know if we have acacia trees. Oh, we should have planted trees over there too. That would have been smart. Oh, we still can. Okay, we can add our tools back now. See, the trouble, uh, wait, it's a surprise? I missed something, I I'm sorry, I don't mean to ignore Pink Ninja's messages ever. I, apparently I ignore her messages more than anyone's messages, and, uh, I don't mean to. See, th the problem, Okami, is that you make too much sense. We're in we're in the same boat. We're we're in the boat of the people that just kind of like can logic our way through things. I think a lot of the people in this stream are fairly similarly minded in that way. Where we can kind of logic our way through things, which is not always the best, you know, because uh, then we're like, dude, what's the point of all this nonsense? It's nonsense and people just don't see it, you know? 
So what'd you end up eating then? We don't have nearly enough acacia. Bummer. Okay, let's see. Should we just do spruce around the outside? That'll kind of tie everything together. But then we have a lot of spruce stuff happening. Okay, yeah, let's put the acacia back. Let's just get a lot more spruce happening. Where's the fences? Oh, there we go. You distracted on building in Minecraft? That's funny. Eat. Eat. Oh, we're gonna have to light this area up though. I, yeah, I do that too, all the time. I'll like forget to eat if I'm focused on something. Especially Minecraft, because I just get intensely focused on it. Okay, cool, now we can take down all this acacia wood. Siren Glom's like, can I come in now? Can I protect my village, please? No, you can't. You cannot protect your village, please. Shroom lights would look great in the floor here. But for now, I'll just do torch spam. They're villagers, they're okay with torches. We just need to make sure that they can't jump out of the fence. Because they kind of did that last time and it was annoying. Also, I'm not sure the spawning radius of an iron golem. I think it's 10 blocks from the villager's feet is where they can spawn an iron golem. I'll have to double check the height requirement. Let's see, we could do an anti-villager wall. And we could do it the same way we did those guys. Yeah, I think I will. Because then it'll be really balanced on both sides. It'll be nice and even. Um, we just need to make some trapdoors. Let me go grab some spruce trapdoors. We might be out of spruce now. I think we are out of spruce. Wait, you already have spruce trapdoors in the building materials. Yeah, but I need three, you know? Okay, so we're gonna make another trap door. That's not it. That is the opposite of what we need. Do we need six spruce for a trap door? We do. We're really running out of spruce now. There we go. And we'll grab five more plants. I was like, I was looking at it the other day and I was like, maybe... Maybe I'll grab some, uh... Oh wait, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be spawnable in here. Okay, let's, let's fix that real quick. We can torch, that's the middle. We can torch this. That, uh, is that the middle? This is the middle. Yeah. What am I? What am I doing? That. Well, that's for sure the middle. What? Oh no. Oh guys, we we have messed up. I forgot that I was able to insta mine. Oh, we died with the trap doors and stuff. Okay, that's fine though. Um, let me grab any fences and let me grab some plants. I know, rip. Big rip. I gotta do this while the villagers are asleep. Oh, I had already walled it in. Okay, so we need, uh... Not that. We need that, and then we need trapdoors. So let me go get any wood that we have. Maybe we can do acacia. 
five is 20. We just need tw uh, okay, we did, we did it all, that's fine. Yeah, I think the acacia wood will look okay here. We just need to do this so the villagers can't escape. Right? I think that's all we need to do. The baby villagers can escape. But we can put, uh, we can put trapdoors up on the floor too. So yeah, let me make two more. Like this. Yeah, and then we can still walk through. We just need to crouch, but no one else can. Which is what we wanted. Uh, I need to make more torches too, so let me go do that real quick before mobs start spawning. Actually, let me just sleep, because the villagers can't get out now. Boy, what an unfortunate, what an unfortunate fall. We lost, the only thing we lost really was, let me think, we didn't have any food. We had, did we have all our iron on us? And we had all our emeralds on us. That's okay though, because once that pumpkin farm gets going, we'll have a lot of emeralds available from the villagers. We had our diamond pick with silk touch, but we can get silk touch uh, picks now. So, I mean, that was that was kind of the ideal, the ideal option for what just went down. And we lost a bunch of acacia fences. I think that's it. That's really it. So, yeah, we really didn't lose much. Okay, we can use some jungle wood because we'll get jungle saplings eventually. So let's use this as our wood. We'll go do some torch spam up there. Hi, Mr. Iron Golem. I need to make sure to keep those trapdoors closed when we start breeding villagers again. Because currently they're stuck. And then I also need to make sure that they're closed when we have mob attacks. Yeah, and nothing can squeeze through here or get over this fence other than spiders. Um, but if we do the mining during the day, we should be okay. Okay, so let me... We'll wait, because this guy will have... Sharpness one, that's kind of a bummer of a trade. We can wait to trade with that guy till he has a great iron sword. Where's our toolsmith? You. Really cheap right now, too. So, oh, we do need to get more iron. So an iron farm is next on the list. Maybe not immediately next on the list, but pretty soon. Oh, we have pumpkins already. That's awesome. Okay, cool. That was unexpectedly soon. Oh, we have another pumpkin. That was really unexpectedly soon. See? It's already paying out. And this is 12 pumpkin plants. They get harvested immediately. So this will be way faster than me manually farming three little pumpkin plants that don't get harvested until I notice. And did you see how it worked too? That was so satisfying. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, we don't have enough to trade yet. Uh, I'm gonna just throw these off the edge. Oh, you know what? I'll keep them. Because it must have been meant to be. So, let's... Oh, we need to patch that hole. Before a villager decides to yeet himself off the edge. Yeet! It was red sandstone, which is kind of dangerous for me to have. That was really dangerous. I should have just come over here. How about that? All right, I play things a little risky, except it's funny how, how cautiously I play in this and I still died to something like totally dumb. Um, and uh, by dumb, I mean not like game mechanics are dumb, grumble grumble. I mean like I was being dumb, grumble grumble. 
Okay. Okay. So let's let's think. What's next? Next, these pumpkins are gonna make themselves. We're gonna need more iron. So let's see. We can move these beds and trade stations around. Cause there's no reason for them to be all like weirdly next to each other now. Yeah, we can so what's the center of this thing? This torch oh let's let's finish torching this up. Did I do this wrong or something? I feel like that's the center over there, but this is the center over here. Did I horribly miscount? Two, one, one, wait, oh I did, okay, hold up, well let me go get a terracotta first before I start making holes in the floor. See, I'm telling you, I play it kind of careful here. Also I'm gonna put this here. I don't die with all our wood again. Yeah, this is looking a lot better. A lot better. So now, this is the center. Yes, okay. Did I do the same thing over here? Did I goof it? No, that's just off center. Goodbye, torch. Okay, and then I think... Don't really know how many other torches we'll need, but let's just kind of start placing them around here. It was two in from here. And then let's pull up our trusty F3, 6, 5, so I think if we just put one in the center, that'll be 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, yeah, there's no block, so nothing here is spawnable anymore. It's still spawnable for Iron Golem, so maybe we'll carpet the whole area, uh, but I don't think we'll need it for now. So how many villagers do we want to have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't tell me they don't have good living conditions. These villagers are really living it up right now. One, two, and I can go get that other bed. Oh, we probably died with that other bed. That's okay. We can we can craft the bed. Yeah, we have enough wool for it. It's a good thing the wood type doesn't change for the beds too. That would drive me crazy. Why do we even have that lever? Yeah, weird. Okay, and then the trade stations, I guess, can just be there. I don't want the villagers to be able to jump on them and then over, so... They can just kind of be around. Maybe I'll put them at the feet of the beds. I need a pickaxe for that. Okay. How many pumpkins do we have? We have some carrots, too. Two more pumpkins. Alright, I'm really digging it. We have so many pumpkins now. Oh, and this farm is kind of modular in the sense that, like, you could make it bigger pretty easily. We could have expanded that. I don't know why I made it a 5x5. Five five. We could have gone out to 9x9. Nine nine. But 5x5 five five seems like a pretty good size. So, and I'm happy with it. And these chunks will not be unloaded for a long time, so that minecart won't stop moving. Okay. Um, what's next? I want to get that iron pick first, but that's going to be a lot of pumpkins away from now, so... Maybe... 
maybe, I was gonna say maybe we'll mine the center block, but I want that iron pick first and we don't have any iron. We could nuke the iron golem for it, or we can build an iron farm. Like a really simple iron farm. And I think that might not be such a bad option. So let's think about what we would need for that. We need a hopper, so we need a little bit of iron. So I might nuke this guy. Cause oh, you know what? I have a little bit of iron down here too. Uh seven iron. Eight iron. So let's smelt that up. And let's think. One hopper and a barrel is all we need for the iron farm. And stairs and light and a couple of beds. And we would need a minecart to transport the villagers, which we can recycle this one, and then that would also come with a hopper. And that's not such a bad way to go. Because otherwise we don't have enough iron for a hopper and a minecart. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's um, let's take this apart. What's the best way? Probably break this glass. I'll take that. Um, I'll put that there temporarily because I don't have any more glass. I'll sleep. Oh, I saw the piston moves. Did you see it? I don't know why my game's so quiet. Why is my game so quiet? Is it because you made your game quiet, Five Head? Yeah, probably. It was. Okay, sun's coming up. And we have one more pumpkin, at least. Nope. Was it not that piston that moved? Thought it would have been. Maybe it was the one down there with the sugar cane. Would have been ill timing for it. But, I mean... No, I, I don't know what piston would have moved. That's so strange that we heard a piston move. Because I saw it in the subtitles. Maybe it was the pumpkin farm, but... It didn't collect it somehow? Be kind of glitchy. I don't know. That's weird. That is uh, mucho weird. Okay, we can start making an iron farm here. So, what do we need for that? We need... A platform, we need a lava bucket or two, we need two water buckets. Too bad we can't smelt, um... Well, do we even need this iron? No, I'm gonna put it away. I don't trust myself anymore. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away. Oh, now we can hear it. Now it's kind of loud, actually. Okay. I don't trust myself. But, we must go on. So... When you fly a thousand K blocks in Minecraft and haven't found my ceiling... Is it multiplayer or single player? And are you okay with using a third-party app to find a Mushroom Island? Dude, I love it. I'm just gonna leave them up there. Okay, so we would need to cart three villagers up. Or, we can just build it high up. Well, that's tricky. Building it high up is tricky because we need it accessible. So, oh, it's a modded server. Do you have access to the seed? Because you could use uh, the chunk based biome finder if you were okay with that. This is kind of dangerous. Oh no, there's platform underneath it. Oh, on both sides. Wow, I'm so smart. Not really, I'm not actually smart. It doesn't work though. Oh, cause it's modded. Yeah, you're right. That must be a heavily modded server if they generate with uh, with mods. Okay, 
Let's find out the spawn range for iron golems real quick. Uh, I'll leave this open. Iron golem spawn radius. 16 by 6 by 16. Two blocks above the top and three blocks on the bottom of the point of the bottom northwest bottom corner of the point of interest block. Okay, so we don't have to go so high up. Oh, but I need a zombie for that, which means you need to go, which means I need to get slightly more kitted up. So let's mine the middle block a little more. Um, I can make an iron pickaxe because we don't have enough to trade for one. And we'll leave this for now. We'll leave this here in building materials. And we'll grab we'll grab some iron and make an iron pick. If it isn't iron pick. I it took me forever to understand that joke. It's like if it isn't ironic, like well isn't it ironic, but it's iron pick. It's well isn't it iron pick? What did I just do? That, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. And I need an axe as well. So we're using all our iron here. Making some iron tools. Making my way downtown. And hopefully obsidian doesn't spawn right now. Because that would be a huge bummer. A slime block. Wow, okay, so it really is just random blocks now. Oh, glowstone. It pains me to do glowstone. Mycelium, spruce, aquamarine, purper. It's nice having this iron golem here too for now, before we need to boat or minecart a zombie. Okay, okay, okay. I'm safe from you. You're not safe from him. <laughs> I am beneath you, but nobody is beneath me! I'm the Underminer! Oh, I had 65 levels. Dang. Oh well. Man, that Iron Golem just messes them up. Musical chest. Oh, a music disc. Okay. That's actually a great pickup. So let me go drop stuff off. Wow, we're really gonna need to sort in this last phase, because I mean this is just this is so many blocks. Okay, we have cobblestone, which I'm gonna keep on me. And then we got a lot of nether stuff, so let's go through carefully and take out all the nether stuff. That's all the nether stuff. We have some barren. I guess these two are technically nether too. We have some end. We have some red desert. We have some ocean. We have glowstone in the nether. I don't have a need for glowstone powder, but glowstone is really nice, because then we don't have to make more jack-o'-lanterns. Dirt, stone, and wood, 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 and mob, mob. We got an emerald. Where did we get an emerald from? Did we trade to somebody? Or did an emerald just drop from so Oh, we mined that first emerald block. Duh. Okay. I just am not a smart man. We know this already, but let me just rephrase it. I am not a smart man. I thought it was obsidian and I was like, that's it. They have done it to us. Oh, iron golem versus, oh, guardian, that's not good. He'll flop off the edge. 
He's not gonna hurt my villagers, is he? Certainly hope not. Okay, we need to go take care of them now. I guess we can eat this raw cod. He dropped some sushi. Yum. Oh, we can trade with this villager. Does that give us enough for golden carrots? Oh, we died with our glistening melon slices too, but that's fine. So I guess we did have food on us when we died. It's unfortunate. Another emerald? I will accept that. Pig. So, I was thinking about an XP farm, because ideally you want to have an XP farm accessible for when you lose 65 levels by dying, by falling into the void. Um, I think we can just go to the end and just look at Enderman on the end island, because there's it's a single player world, so I have all the spawn caps, so I could just make a little hut and just manually farm them. And that's fine, for now. Before we get onto the nether ceiling and make our pickling gold farm. Okay, okay, what do we do for this? We just stand up here? <laughs> just yeeting them. Yeeting them. Yeeting them. Thank you. Oh man, that would have been great to have Silk Touch there too. We'll have Silk Touch soon though. We'll have it soon. Wow, we're full already. What happens if you put endstone in a furnace? Do we know? Is that a thing? Nothing happens. Okay, good to know. Okay, ocean. Red desert, I guess we'll start with the red desert because I was just absentmindedly opening up chests. We have a lot of stuff for the nether this time. We have stuff for the Baron. We have stuff for the ocean. We have a music disc, which that's our fourth music disc, which is kind of cool. Okay, we've got dirt, gravel, clay, and then we have more ocean stuff. We have honeycomb block, which I'm gonna pick up the honey blocks from here. I thought I saw honey blocks in here. Maybe it was just slime blocks that I saw here. Okay. And then we'll put the honey clone honey honey clone over with our bees. Pick this up, drop off the coal in here, drop off the gold, oh we have a full stack now. Um, and I think we'll sleep so that it'll be daytime, otherwise we might have problems. I should have counted our villagers before we slept. Also, now that I have an iron pick, I can move these. To be over here. So we can still cycle the weaponsmith. This is just such a great pick for the iron one. Smith, we can still cycle too. So we can. Oh yes. Okay. Another iron golem. So oh, we lost the lava bucket. That's unfortunate since it's non-renewable. But we still have two more, and we can just go to the Nether. So I'm not super worried about lava buckets. We still haven't been to the Nether. We have four blaze rods left, so it's 
all good. He's hurting. I'm hurting, but he's hurting. That's what's important here. I accidentally burned the lava one time. Or, I accidentally um, burned the iron that dropped one time because I wasn't careful with when he spawned in. Or when he died. Weird glitch, but okay. Slows us down too, it just doesn't count as lava. Isn't that weird? No particle effects on me. What if I put lava in that spot? Did I burn the iron in the one second, the split second that I had? Ugh, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not bitter about it. The one chance we had to get a little bit of iron. I'm not bitter at all. Oh, there's an iron. Ooh, a sponge block, that's nice. Although we don't I don't have any oceans to drain, but I guess it's nice to have a sponge. All oh, snow foxes. I'll keep them around. My sheep are safe. They'll end up over there anyways, eventually. They'll wander in. They didn't stand a chance. We're almost full again. We've got like hardly any blocks. Crazy. Oh. You got me again. I was so focused. I was so focused. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right, good night, Warlord. Thank you for the lurk. My heart. I'm a fat man, Regis. My heart can't take it. Whew. Wow. <laughs> Light gray, that's the Baron. Yeah, that's the Baron. Another, another, another. Another, 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 another. Another, 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 another. We got more pumpkins. I heard them. Did you hear them? I heard them. Let's go get some pumpkins, shall we? Oh yes, give me them pumpkins. Give me them carrots. You know what, actually, I'm gonna go uh, get some bone meal, because we have so many bone blocks that dropped. Our fox has died somehow. Weird. Yeah, we have so much. And we keep getting bone blocks quite frequently, so I'm gonna go bone meal a bunch of carrots. Does the bone meal work if we're full? No, it doesn't. That's a bummer. Oh, that works though. We can we can do that. Well, this is great. And we're getting full too. Oh, ran out of bone meal. Nice. About to trade a lot of carrots to this villager. Why don't you bone meal the pumpkins? Because it's better. Can't do that. I'm afraid I can't do that. Hal, open the pod bay doors. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Yeah, you can bone meal a pumpkin stem while it's growing, but technically once it grows a pumpkin, it's full grown, and the stem won't grow anymore. They just have a random chance of growing pumpkins, so... I was about to say that looked like I was actually mining the dirt block somehow. 
That's so weird. How does that happen? How did I accidentally mine the, the dirt block? Does it like, every time I click to uproot the carrot, it like also partially mines the block? Cause it looked like it was, yeah, it's starting to break. That's so strange. And it's just for me holding right click and every now and then I click it. But then I stopped, like I switched blocks on it. Like you can see it's starting to get mined out. That's so weird. What a weird bug. Well, we found a bug. Found a bug in Minecraft. Okay, let's plant some carrots, shall we? This would have been better off being potatoes, but my farmer doesn't trade potatoes. Dude, this is so much farmland. <laughs> So much farmland. This is like way too much farmland. That's okay though, because it's kind of early game, so having ginormous farms early game is not a bad thing. Hydrate, thank you for the reminder. Not gonna lie, uh, falling off of that set us back a little bit, but not very much. It's just that when you don't have backup gear because you're so early game, why have backup mediocre gear? Which, uh, you know, you should have backup mediocre gear because of stuff like this happens. I don't know why I just lifted that pumpkin up. Or the carrot. It wasn't fully grown yet, so. Good night, pink ninja. Thank you for the lurk. We got about half an hour to go. You gotta go too, Okami? Alrighty. Good night. Yep, got that school life going. School life going. Thank you for the lurk, though. Alright, well, most of the end of the stream is going to be catching back up to where we were before, so... And now, I think this is where I can start really doing some off-screen grinding, too. Like, I want to get the villagers set up. I want to do the big stuff on camera, so I do want to get an iron farm going. Maybe we'll start on it. How many carrots do we have? Not enough yet. I want to get that iron farm going so I can AFK it and then have lots of iron for the next time we start doing anything, because iron is just so useful. But we'll have lots of carrots to trade to the villager, we'll have lots of pumpkins to trade, so emeralds shouldn't be a problem. And I'm going to leave this open and a do some AFKing. Um, so that we really can have a lot of pumpkins and a lot of emeralds next time because you guys have seen the process now of just essentially leaving this to just run like I'll probably do an AFK session on it tonight overnight and everything should be mob proof too because for one we're super close to everything okay maybe I won't use all the bone meal we have on carrots because they seem to be starting to grow anyways actually let me Unglitch that block. I was watching, uh. Oh, I forgot his name. Doc. I think it's Doc. But it's Doc something. I was watching him on the Hermitcraft server doing a part of a ginormous oct octagonal nether portal, which was super impressive. He built like an updating interrupter or something like that. Yeah. Oh, Doc M. Okay. Good. Yeah, he's doing some crazy stuff. Doc M and Rendog are doing crazy stuff on the on the Hermitcraft server. It's like Psycraft level stuff. 
Admittedly, they did get a lot of it from Psycrafters. Like, the Psycrafters are helping him with a lot of the stuff. You forgot you needed to do something first. Nice. Alright, Mr. Farmer, I'm waking you up because I got carrots for you. Love me. Love me. Love me. Oh, he does love me. Oh, we can trade him, uh, trade some pumpkins to him now. Too. Another wandering trader. We already had a wandering trader. He trades gunpowder. But, I mean, creeper farms aren't that hard to build. Especially with the cats that we're gonna have from the iron farm. Oh, our wandering trader died. I wonder if a zombie got him or something. Bummer, he sold packed ice. I was really excited about that. But we got this guy now. I don't even think I can kill him around the villagers, because they'll get mad at me. Alright, I need some golden carrots. Well, I have carrots. I will I will set aside my need for food because I need an iron pick with silk touch. And then I need to trade for that fortune book as well. I was like, how did I have like one end stone? It was because the fox that had it died, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna take everything but one pumpkin up to the top to start trading. Or to, to put in the in the barrel that we have up top. Cause that's where the pumpkins belong. We have 14 emeralds. That might be enough for that silk touch. Is it efficiency or unbreaking? It'd be cool. Why what are you guys doing? Get on get on your own beds. Stop being in a probes. Oh wait, was Angela? Okay, I don't want Angela to be a smith. I'd like Angela to be like the mother of all villagers, so to speak, because she was the first. Well, it was the first. Um, oh, it's 16. Bummer. And it is efficiency three, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. So, okay, we need a couple more emeralds for that. That'll be a good pickup. Uh, we have a decent amount of emeralds just from trading carrots and pumpkins. So we'll keep we'll keep that streak going. Oh, I do want to close this while we're farming, especially at night. I don't mind doing this at night because the iron golem is really protecting us. So we can keep that going. And we can just I mean so long as it's not a ghast, because I think ghasts can just spawn now. Which is super unfortunate. Oh a rare chest. Fortune one is nice. But since we have access to Fortune 3, we're not going to use that Fortune 1 book. Fortune 1 is nice, Fortune 3 is a necessity. At least in my book, you need Fortune 3 pretty early on. Pretty much once you get your max level enchantment table, that's when it's time for Fortune 3. Uh, I'm not going to harvest that because we don't need it yet. Or I, I have too much inventory stuff. Boy, it's getting, I can feel it getting late. We got, let's put the honey with the other honey. Any ocean type blocks? No. Maybe we can put this stuff in our hot bar. So all, Pretty much our whole inventory, we sort everything else we leave alone. I have one chest here. I've got some bricks and some mossy stuff. I've got some plants. I don't really need the potion of lingering night vision, so I'll just drink it. Or throw it. That's fine. Kind of nice. I could, I could dig it. Put this with our other books that are kind of eh. Uh, the iron is a great pickup. The gold we can throw in there. Our arrows in here? No, they're in mob drops. Yes. Yeah, that's where we had our spectral arrows. We can put them down here because they're kind of like we might need to get to them. Same with the coal. Coal is more of a valuable thing than anything else. Okay. We didn't have any ocean blocks. We have some red desert. 
We have a lot of nether. And we have a lot of the end. We already got rid of our other stuff, so this goes in wood and this goes in dirt. We can keep on mining. Rabbits are nice. Oh good, more bone blocks. So We're in good shape. We got a lot of our iron back. I think it looks like a lot of iron comes through this center block. A lot of iron. A lot of coal. It might be worth just throwing that fortune one thing on the next iron pickaxe that we make. Oh, guardian versus iron golem. Now I need a bucket of milk. He needs some milk. Okay, keep going, keep going, there you go. That mining fatigue is bad news. Now that's a flashing potion right there. Any other valuables? Yes. Any ocean things? Nope. Got a lot of red desert ones that time. We got a little bit of nether stuff that time. Got a lot of barren blocks that time. Got a few end blocks. We got... Oh, I was gonna say we got no mob stuff, but we did. We did get some mob stuff. We got wood, we got some dirt types, and we've got a chest. Honestly, not having to look at that bottom bar right here makes such a big difference in my brain for how we sort this stuff. Such a big difference. The, the real lurk starts now. Oh, Radio Kami. Oh, we were full like long ago. Okay. Oh, we still have mining fatigue. So, um, as much as I like the little bunnies, let's. Oh, we got a rabbit's foot. That's lucky. Ha. Ha. Get it? Lucky rabbit's foot. No. Not feeling it. All right. I understand. I understand, sir. It's nice getting some more acacia. We can go check on our farm for carrots. Maybe we'll just leave it until we have like tons and tons and tons of carrots. Let me get enough to eat and then maybe we'll just leave it till most of them are like done so we can just farm them all at once. Oh, we still have mining fatigue. I need a bucket. He needs some milk. Too bad we can't get a bucket of stew. Ocelot that went straight into the water zone. Oh no, it went straight into my farm. So many different kinds of blocks. Ooh. That's good. Oh, you know what? If we get a creeper here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably I'll run this way. Creeper shows up, run backwards. That's that's what we'll do. Really? You went through that little crack over there? and decided that's where you're going to end up. Oh, I forgot they, they'll just die if it's uh, dry land. I don't really need to do anything about them then. More iron. Always a nice change. I think that fills us up. We really need, okay, so here's my plan, right? Here's my plan. Which is kind of, uh, it's kind of changed now that this portal is here. But I would like to embed or have a hopper right below here. 
Um, we can have a hopper minecart maybe that drops stuff into a hopper. Ah, oh, man, it's a kind of a bummer having that end portal there. I think if we put a hopper minecart here, if we put hoppers right underneath this block going out this way, and then we put a hopper minecart on this block, when it's a chest, it'll fall into it, glitch into the block, and then that'll always absorb the items from the top, and then just send them out into a sorting system that we'll eventually have. But we need an iron farm first, because we'll need a ton of iron for the sorting system, and then we'll need a lot of redstone too. Which we have a little bit, and we have a lot of like redstone blocks that we can use fortune on once we get that fortune pick. Which actually, we can get... Oh no, it's a silk touch pick, it's not a fortune pick, bummer. Uh, it's a fortune book, and it's like 35 or something. Something crazy. Okay, the Prismian Crystals is part of a mob drop. No other mob drops. We got some nether stuff. We got some ocean stuff. We got some gravel and dirt. We got red desert. Lots of red desert stuff. We got some barren stone type things. We got another nether stone type thing at the end. We've got more quartz for the nether. We've got some wood. We've got another beehive, but no bees. Keep that over there. Alright, let's see how much that fortune book's gonna cost us. Fortune 3, 39 emeralds, yikes. That is so expensive. Would be kind of nice to upgrade to 17 because then we can use fortune on the iron before we have that iron farm going. But we'll have the iron farm done pretty soon. Uh, which we'll need. I guess that was a good time for a pick to break. Okay, how much time do we have? We have 12 minutes. Let's get the frame of the iron farm in place first. Um, let me get... three iron cooking. For the pick. We'll put the rest of this stuff away. stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh. My head's like ringing still from that one. Okay. Okay, we didn't get hardly any stone types. We got a little bit of cobblestone, diorite, andesite. Well, I say hardly any stone types, but literally all, all four of the stone types is what we got that last time. So I take it all back. I, I take it back. Uh, okay, we've got red desert, a lot of red desert blocks, a lot of nether blocks, and some barren and some end. Okay, and we need the iron so we can make an iron pick. Oh, right, we were going to start on that iron farm. Okay, so... Iron farm. Iron farm, iron farm, iron farm. We'll make it out of wood. Dark oak would be a nice wood for that. I like dark oak better than I like jungle, so we'll do dark oak. Oh, I still need a zombie and a minecart, though. That's going to be the hard part of this. Hmm... Okay, we need two water buckets and a lava bucket. We're gonna need a crafting table. 
We have one up near there, so that's okay. We're gonna need some ladders. We're gonna need... What are we gonna need? I guess that's all we need. Okay. Yeah, oh, glowstone. We'll need some glowstone. One glowstone. And we'll need three beds that we can pick up from the village area. So, okay. Well, we can get started on it. How did I just walk through that? What? Oh, maybe I was standing on it already? Oh, that's cool. If, you, if you're already standing on it, you just walk through. Interesting, because your head will probably clip into the thing. Yeah, you can't get through, bud. You got a five head. Okay, we're gonna build it straight up from here. So, four, five, six. Six, I think is all we need to go up. Um, I'd hate to build this twice, but uh, I guess that'll do for now. Oh, we're making the whole thing out of uh, dark oak. That's right. Okay. Dark oak. And actually, we can do... Did I already build a crafting table? I did not. The bottom, we can skimp a little bit. We can skimp a little bit on the bottom. We can make it out of planks. I think the inside needs to be three by three, essentially. And that needs to be sunken down. And this, we don't need this. So that'll be where our zombie goes in. Okay, and then the walls... Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. I think... I think... Let me look it up. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm probably gonna just do it wrong. So... And then I can give credit to the uh, the designer too. Early game iron form. And I've watched it so many times. Okay, it's by Avamance. And uh, yeah, he's got this great, like it's a five by five footprint iron farm. It's fantastic. Okay, so the feet of the beds, yeah, needs to go like like this. So the heads go against this wall. And then the zombie will go... Oh no, I was wrong. Okay, so yeah, the beds are gonna have to go this way and the zombie will go here. Okay, so let's get that going. I should just build a staircase while I'm working on this. Okay, bed, bed, bed. So we can get these in, and then we'll essentially just like uproot three villagers out of their beds. Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they'll take all the beds, and then we'll just remove three of their beds. And then they'll have nowhere to go. Okay, so those three beds facing that way. This will be ultimately where the chests go, uh, but for now we don't have them. So... We'll keep on building. We're really skimping on this thing. Oh wait, that needs to be a block. So in the design, Essentially how it goes is, um, villagers go in here. Which we will need to open up a path for the villagers. Probably this path, because we'll need the, the zombie to go in here too. And, uh, let me just put a crafting table here so it's accessible. 
because we'll need stairs. Stairs will go here, like that, I believe. Uh, no, it'll go one down. One down? No, it, they will go there. Okay, so this will be three high on the outsides then. And uh, usually you build it so you can see into this area with glass, but we're just cheaping out on it. Okay, so now we need... Um, I should have left that there, actually. We need trapdoors. Oh, I love the dark oak trapdoors because they look like chocolate. This will be where our villagers stand and sleep. They don't need trades to be part of a village. Hi, bud. Thank you for giving me your bed to cushion my fall. And then up on top, which I'll build the top next. Let me just uh, get a staircase going here. We'll eventually need a villager too. Hey, back from playing VR chat. What's up, Leviathan? Hey, JK, what's up? I, say, I should say the real JK, what's up? I am currently building an iron farm. Like a, a really budget iron farm. Like a really budget iron farm. <laughs> this is gonna be where they're gonna spawn in those, uh, those iron golems on the top. So we'll need to get this whole platform spawnable. And I believe this is where the hopper is going to go. So we can go back and grab that. How you doing, the real JK? I haven't seen you since Minecraft. Or haven't, haven't seen you since Rocket League. It is, it is nearing the end of the stream. And my brain is just about dead. But I want to get the guts in place for the iron farm because I'm probably going to just move the villagers up there off camera. So, did you have a good weekend? The weather's getting cooler, it's fall, the question of the day was perfect because we got a hoodie gang thing going. It is, what is your favorite accessory or clothing item? Mine's hoodies all the way, and I love fall because it's hoodie season. Oh, been grinding CS and Valorant. Are those, are the, and it is hoodie? All right, hoodie gang. I would love to commission artwork for hoodie gang and put that on merch, because I would love to have a hoodie that says hoodie gang. Although I need to cool it with the merch because I buy all my own merch because I love it. I make stuff that I would enjoy wearing. Because um, if I wouldn't wear it, I mean, aside from the women's tees, I'm not gonna wear the women's tees because they wouldn't fit me very well. So, you didn't meet any insane people in VR chat? How is that even possible? VR chat is just chocked full of insane people. Okay, so I need this and this, and I need this. The rest I think we can build. We'll need some signs too. Oh, you guys need to get off of my staircase. Okay, so this will be okay. And this is this is the most budget version of this thing I've ever made. That'll be that's where our iron's gonna go. Hydrate, thank you for the reminder. Hey, I thought you went to bed, Pig Ninja. That's okay, you're always welcome here. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is where the iron golems are gonna spawn because this will be the only spawnable platform from where the villagers are, I hope. I might have to carpet all that down there, but we'll see, we'll see. I think it's high enough that this will be the only spawnable platform for them. And I think that iron golem is far enough away that it won't be detected for not spawning an iron golem. Otherwise, I might have to just nuke that one and then I'll have to deal with these guys fine. Uh, this is your reminder that it's 10. Yes. <laughs> Technically 9.59, thank you, Leviathan. But uh, it is 10.
I did want to get I did want to get the rest of this in place. So what we're doing is we're making an area where we can put we can put lava up here. Oh, and I did want to bring I do have torches. Okay, we'll just put a torch there. That's fine. So we need some signs like this. Okay, because signs can keep in lava, don't you know? We make a lava blade up here. And then we make... Wow, this is going so fast. This is awesome. We make the water streams here. So essentially the iron golems will spawn here because that's the only place they can spawn to protect the villagers. And then they'll float over here and since they're just over two blocks tall, their head gets put into the lava so they die and they drop the iron and it gets put right there. Onto that one spot in particular. So the top's done. We don't need to go up on the top anymore. Now the only thing left is to get a zombie into this spot after moving villagers up here. So let's move villagers up there now since it's night. They'll walk up on their own if they don't have a bed. So who are going to be the lucky three? It's looking like you're the lucky one. And you're the lucky one. And you're the lucky one. Alright, now go find your new home. Why are they all sparkly? What's the deal? Go on. Stop trying to claim his bed. That's his bed. What is happening? What is, what is happening right now? You go to bed. No, oh, you... Give me my bed back. If you're not gonna place it, give me my bed back. Can you please go upstairs? Can you, can you, no, not, this did not go to plan. You go upstairs. You go up the stair, up, up, up the stairs you go. Yeah, he sees it, okay. He just doesn't know how to get up there. Oh, these villagers are so dumb. Go ahead, go go up the stairs. Go on you. Do you need do you do you need literal okay, there you go. Okay, you go up into bed. And you uh, you get out of bed. You get into bed. No, you don't get a bed anymore. Go to bed. Okay, now you Yes, yes. You see it? See that bed up there? It's got your name written all over it. That's not your bed anymore, buddy. That's not that's not your bed anymore. Maybe I'll wake this guy up too. Maybe he'll just go claim a bed up there where he's supposed to go. Oh wait, no, I need him to be here. Nope, 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 nope. You don't claim the bed up there. We need your untrained buddy to claim the bed up here. Oh no, now I can't get out. Oh man. Oh what a mess. This is a mess. This is why I hate working with villagers. It's like everything goes so closely to plan, and then and then at the very end it just doesn't. This guy needs to go upstairs. Go up the stairs. There's a bed up there with your name on it. Before before the dawn comes. Wow, you're stubborn. Villagers are so stubborn. And it's like their AI knows exactly what you're trying to do. And it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Nope, 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 nope. That's not, that's not how we do. Why is he trying to claim this bed? There's villagers in these beds. Oh, now they're waking up. Now I need to block this off because they're waking up. 
Dude, stop trying to sleep in this bed. Oh, he's going upstairs. Oh, perfect timing, perfect timing. They're about to wake up. Wow, that was close. Okay, all right. And then we need to put the stairs here. Wow, that was really close timing. <laughs> the AI is just made to be annoying. I, it's so annoying. They did such a good job making an annoying AI for these villagers. And I think I can breed these ones even though they have trades. I should be able to. If not, we can breed the ones that are up there. Um, but wait, you turned into a farmer. How did you turn into a farmer? Oh, a fisherman because of the barrel. That's okay though. So this, this stream is sponsored by Leviathan AI. Yes, it is past 10. So here's, here's what I'm going to do off camera then. I'm going to get a villager, or I'm going to get a zombie with a name tag here, sitting there. Um, and he'll be, he'll be blocked off, so I need to actually put a little bit of, uh, a little bit of blockage in place here for him. Like that. And then I'll put blocks here to block him in. So he'll be sitting like this, spooking these villagers constantly, and they're like, ah, oh, we need to protect ourselves, we'll spawn a golem. But then the only place where they can possibly spawn a golem is up here, and the iron golem dies. And then they go, oh no, our golem is dead. We need to, um, we need to spawn a new golem for our protection. And, uh, and so on and so forth. So, what I'll need to do is wait until I get one zombie. And, uh, I'll minecart him. I'll minecart him on this side, I'll kill this golem. And then, once I get him in a minecart, um, I can name tag him, and just send him up there, and then drop him in. So, that'll work out really well. And, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be the end of the stream. So next week, um, we'll have lots of iron to work with, and I imagine, I mean, it's been, what, half an hour since we checked on the pumpkins? It's been like 15 minutes since we checked on the pumpkin, so it's about a pumpkin a minute, because we had five in there already. Yeah, pumpkin a minute. So if I FK this overnight, we'll have lots of pumpkins, um, which I'm planning on doing, and then we have, already we have lots of carrots. So we're gonna have lots of emeralds by the time next stream starts. I won't do any major upgrading. Um, I'll probably upgrade the villagers, but I won't like trade for my diamond armor or like get all the enchanted books and stuff. We still need to make a villager breeder, which we can make probably... Well, that's tough because we can't make it where the iron golems could spawn. So we'll probably have to expand this whole villager area um, and then make a villager breeder out past it so that we can make a villager trading hall around here. So yeah, and then I'd like to ultimately build a little town for the villagers and do some terraforming and make it look a little more natural, but for now, I think this is a really good start to the villager area. Uh, I want to expand this too, I don't really know what to do with this area, maybe we can make it more of like, maybe we can make an ocean going out this way, uh, if we wanted to do some, some ocean farming. Um, I want to expand the pastures out this way too. So if you guys come next week and this is a larger circle with the same animals in it, don't be surprised. I think I'm going to do that. And then this one, I'm not going to touch this. So maybe they'll just be even. And uh, yeah, with that, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being live on Twitch. Uh, we do Minecraft Mondays, Monday night from 7 to 10. Um, those of you who are watching now know that and uh, those of you on YouTube don't forget to hit like and subscribe <laughs> Thank you for the caffeinate at the very end of the night. I'm gonna be editing this video So I'll probably need it and uh, Hopefully you guys have a good night, and if I don't see you tomorrow at lunch Then I'll see you guys Wednesday night for the start of Spooky Wednesdays, and we're gonna be doing Bioshock, which is gonna be really exciting. So see you guys <laughs>